Hello. We have a Pontiac uh, Grand Prix. It's an 04 with a 3800 uh, V6, and it has a slow coolant leak, and is from the um, water pump. So we are going to do the water pump. Other models with a GM uh, engine 3800, like in Palace, uh, maybe the same. So to start, we will remove uh, the fuse box. We'll put it aside. Uh, the reservoir for the coolant and uh, go ahead take out the battery too so we're gonna uh, take out all this area that we're going to work the pump is down here and uh, it will be a lot easier if we start removing things now and make the work easier it's very tidy, tight space in there to try to work so let's take out uh, 10 millimeter bolts and take out these two and uh, perhaps the battery okay I put the tank on the side and I place the fuse box where the battery is so now we have good to go area and work on the pump right here next thing to do remove the belt the tension is here with about 15 millimeter okay um, it's a 15 millimeter for the tensioner you can use the rats if you like I just have this available lift up okay belt attention belt is out good idea to take a couple of pictures before to remember the order the belt goes you can always find a diagram on the web we'll take out the belts for cracks and uh, if so we're going to replace so there you are the pump is in clear view right now I believe it will be some coolant spill underneath if the radiator has a plug drain it from there if not just have something to catch the coolant that will come out make sure the car is cold so you don't burn your hands okay here's the new pump always look the new part and try to see if it matches before you take the old one off and uh, also to get an idea where all the bolts are so we do not have to take out the uh, radiator hose the pump is right there you can see all the blue silicone from before somebody tried to replace it or replaced it that has its own gasket I don't think you need to put the silicone on it maybe that's why it's leaking um, okay so uh, 10 millimeter bolts and a couple when we a uh, few of them are 13 millimeter there is one 13 millimeter down below and uh, that's the difference to remove the pulley because the new water pump does not come with the pulley they are four, four eight millimeter bolt um, just hold uh, they're not very tight so just hold uh, one with a wrench or something and try to use whatever you got a socket or something to move it from the other side so hold with one rotate with the other and they're very easy to come out okay all four bolts are removed last one here and the, that, it's out there we go, we get in there step by step. Uh, we can see all the balls clearly right now. There's 13 millimeter balls here, and maybe a couple on the other side. And the rest of them, I think, is 10 millimeter. And um, we're going to remove the 30 millimeter inside the power steering to drop the power steering down a little bit. Power steering pump has to be lowered. Um, there's bolts to go through the pump. Right now removing the pump, but no choice. So there's a, you can see my figure going through. So I'm going to drop the 30 millimeter bolts and lower the uh, pump, the power steering. So I can go ahead and uh, remove the bolt for the water pump. I don't think it can be done any other way. Okay, I 
get the 30 millimeter socket and went through the pulley and reached the 30 millimeter bolts that are removing the power steering. Um, I had no choice but release the bolts from the power steering pump all the way. Therefore, this bolt now comes out easy. You can see the cold coming out. So at this point, we home free and uh, go ahead and take the other two 30 millimeter on this side and one more down here and pull up the work pump. Okay, we are down to the last bolt. Uh, good habit, use the new pump and install the bolts in the same order you took them out. Sometimes they might be a different uh, size. These ones, they all look the same, the 13 millimeter and the 10 millimeter, but good habit. And uh, still draining. I don't want to pull it out again, or make a mess below. But at this point, all you gotta use is probably maybe a screwdriver or a crowbar somewhere. And uh, you can see it's moving, all the bolts are out. Here it comes. So the wheel pump is out. We just want to compare it to the old and new to see if we have everything the same. I will clean up the area with the old gasket and um, install the new pump. This is a studs, just a guidance to get the pump into the right place. Gasket. This pump came with the gasket, so I only put a very thin coat, enough to hold the gasket into place. And uh, you can see now that the uh, right here looks nice and clean. Ready to install. I have placed all the bolts in the old pump and I have the old pump right next to where I work so I can take the bolts and place them in the correct order. Okay, just lift the pump into place and start getting bolts in. Just make sure that the gasket stays where it's supposed to stay. So see it through before you press it in. Because the gasket has moved a little bit already, so I want to make sure that I have I am full with the gasket and before I catch the bolts. Okay, I place the flashlight in there so I can see inside the pump, just making sure that all the bolts are going where they're supposed to go, especially the small ones. It, So here that I'm talking about, you can see through if the bolt went through the gasket or not. And once I have them all through, like these ones, then I'll go ahead and tight. Okay, the pump is on. Try to tight the bolts by hand all around evenly. And then use the opposite order from here to there. Same thing, the 30 millimeter bolts, bringing the 10 millimeter bolts as well as three on the top one, the bottom here, all together before you final torque. But always torque the opposite way. Uh, that will be good for not cracking anything. And don't over tight. I don't know what the torque is. Uh, I, I do by feeling. Same way I took it out. That's the way I'm going to put it back in again. So if you have to use a book to find the torque, go ahead and do so. But the pump is in, final torque, and then I will get the pump. Our steering bolts, there are two 30 millimeter up again, and the belt. Okay, the pump is done. The power steering, it was the challenge to get the two bolts through working with one hand is kind of comfortable to get it through and 
You don't see what you're doing, you just have to do by feeling to get these two bolts. So finally this is done. This bolt is really very long, so there's no choice. The power steering pump has to come out, and then you work and you do your job. The pump is up. I will put the pulley for the pump, put on the belt, and uh, job is done. Okay, putting on the uh, pulley, or you pull it back up and just put uh, the 8 millimeter bolt on the top first and then the rest will align to the pulley. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and then put the belt back on. This is the diagram. So I'm gonna go ahead right now, start always from the, from the crank below. Okay, the belt is on, everything is back to normal. Uh, we're going to put back the tank, the reservoir, and the fuse box and uh, fill up coolant. Okay, the water pump for the Pontiac Grand Prix, the 3.8 V6, is done. Everything is back to was supposed to be. All the thing remains now is to put some coolant in the radiator and the tank, uh, run the engine on a little bit higher RPM for a few seconds and then check out the coolant again, add if you need it and let the car run for a while till the thermostat opens, check out for leaks and uh, job is done. I hope my video helps you out. Good luck guys.